Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, Paranoid team rolled out its third Paranoid build. In this video, let's take a look what all new features have been added and which all devices are supported with Paranoid Android Quads 3. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here's my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I'm using the latest version of Paranoid Android Quads 3. If you talk about the software information, as you can see, Paranoid Android version is Quads 3, security patch is 5th June 2020. And it's an official build from Paranoid, so you will receive OTA updates if any update is available. People who are running Quads 2, they should receive OTA update in a day or two. In this video, I'll also show you how to install it on your OnePlus 7 series. And in upcoming days, we'll also get support for OnePlus 7 and 7T. So this will be the first look of Paranoid Android, where we get features like screen recorder, screen stabilization, dark mode which can be directly used from quick setting panel and they have also added the live caption feature. Paranoid Android doesn't come with much of customization options but its stability and performance is top notch. It comes with applications like abstract where you can find lots of wallpapers, retro music player and a basic AOSP camera. If you want you can install Google camera anytime. You can join our telegram group to find the best application of Google camera for any OnePlus device. So this is a launcher. You can customize style and wallpapers. If you want, you can also create custom styles. Then under clock, we have four options, type, analog, bubble, and default, along with few grid options. Now talking about the new features added on Paranoid Android Quads 3. First one is the June security patch, which I've already shown you. Secondly, they have improved fingerprint on display functionality. And here you can see screen doesn't light up too much, which used to happen in the previous updates. So here they have done few improvements related to fingerprint scanner. And along with that, they have also added new clear all notification. So here you can see under the notification panel, this was not available on the previous builds. But with this latest build, they have added this new clear all button. And later they have added the multi user support, which was also not available on the previous updates. From here, you can add different users. Also, we have an option to add users from lock screen. Next thing they have added the data switch tile. So if you are using two SIM cards, you can directly switch data from one SIM card to another SIM card. And this feature is available on Oxygen OS. And lastly, they have added few new essence color, which can be found here in styles and wallpaper. Going to style, add a custom style. You can choose font. Then you have few icons to choose which means quick setting tiles icon and here they have added new essence color and tap on apply by this way you can change the essence color and at last they have fixed the lock screen adjustment for devices with finger on display so guys these were the changes made with the latest Paranoid Android Quads 3 we have already shown you all the features which comes on Paranoid Android now let's take a look at the benchmark results. With Geekbench application, single core have scored 746 and multi core have scored 2763. Due to some issues, Antutu benchmark application did not work, so I can't show you the benchmark results. Roam also comes with face unlock feature. And now talking about the battery life, and this is the screen on time, which is 5 hours and 1 minute. Still, I have 9% of battery remaining. I'm personally looking for gaming mode feature on this Roam. So guys, this was a quick look on the latest Paranoid Android Quads 3. And many of you have been asking me about the installation guide. So now let's talk about the installation process. First download the file and place it inside the internal storage. Make sure you have TWRP recovery available. To install TWRP recovery, I'll mention a video guide in the description below for all the OnePlus devices. So here you can see I have already downloaded the file which is Quads 3 and the size of the update is 1.10 GB. And you don't have to flash the Google app package. Paranoid builds come with pre-installed Google apps. Once a device boots into recovery, first check your device is running on which slot. So here you can see device is running on slot A. If your device is running on slot B, if your device is running on slot B, make sure to flash the Paranoid build on slot B itself. So currently my slot is A, so I'll flash the Paranoid build on slot A itself. So here I have the Paranoid build, selecting that, swipe to confirm flash. Once you have successfully flashed the room, go to the home page, go to install. And now you need to flash the TWRP zip file, which will help in avoiding replacement of stock recovery. Swipe to confirm flash and that's it. Later you can reboot your device. So guys, this way you can install Paranoid Android on your OnePlus 7 series. If you still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.